name is Frances, I'm one of the dietitians with the Children's Diabetes Team um, and in this video we're going to talk to you about how to carbohydrate count different foods. So first of all, if a food has a food label, then we use that information on the food label to help carbohydrate count it. In this instance, a supermarket pizza. And we use the big nutritional label on the back um, and this gives us the information that we need. We can look down the side, the different food groups and carbohydrate is listed there. And we use the top value, the total carbohydrate. This is the sugars and the starches added together. So we use this top line. You'll always have a value per 100 grams because that's what they have to put on the label. Um, but you might not always be eating 100 grams or you're not sure what 100 grams looks like. So quite often you'll also have another number listed which is per portion or in this situation for half a pizza so it's an amount you can visualize so we read the carbohydrate off for the half a pizza and see that it's 70 grams worth of carbohydrate obviously if you're eating less than half a pizza or more than half a pizza then you'd need to change that value based on the amount you're eating if something hasn't got a food label then we can use our carbs and cows book and we can use it in two ways. We can either use it visually, so I've got a banana here and if I'm looking at these pictures of the bananas I might make a guess that I think it's this size here. If I was at home then I might want to check that with some weighing scales and actually weigh the banana and check the weight and see that actually it's closer to this bigger picture down at the bottom based on the weight which is in the book underneath. So that's the weight of the food on scales. For foods like pasta and rice where your portion size can vary quite a lot and when you look in the book your plates at home might be a different size or a different shape so it's always better to check the portion size and then you can be confident in the amount of carbohydrate. So I've got some rice here. And then I can check the weight of the rice on there and see that this is the closest portion size and therefore using that amount of carbohydrate there. So those are the different ways that you can count carbohydrate and I hope this has been a useful refresher and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.